Good morning and Happy New Year. Today I'm going to show you how we make a whole chicken in our Instant Pot plus bone broth. So what you'll need are your Instant Pot, a knife and a cutting board, your whole chicken. I like to use an organic yellow onion, a whole garlic, a little tiny knob of ginger, one carrot, some celery, a bunch of dried thyme, some whole peppercorns, some turmeric, and some sea salt. I never really measure when I'm making our whole chicken. I kind of just throw everything in there. This is what we feel that um, makes our bone broth and our whole chicken taste really good. But if you have some other things that you like to throw in that you think might taste good, feel free to throw them in. I like to cook a whole chicken in the Instant Pot because it's quick, I don't have to babysit the stove, and we come out with shredded chicken that literally just falls off the bone and some gelatinous bone broth. I'll show you what I mean by gelatinous bone broth. And this bone broth has been made in our Instant Pot and has cooled in our refrigerator. You see it kind of has like a jello texture and that's gelatin and that is extracted from the bones from our whole chicken. And that is very rich in collagen and it supports joint health and nail growth and hair growth and skin health. We have a six quart Instant Pot and I actually love our Instant Pot. If, you, if you're if you looking to purchase an Instant Pot, you can go down below in our show notes and we have a link to our kit. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do is place your chicken in the Instant Pot. And there really isn't much chopping for this recipe. What I like to do is just break off a knob of ginger. You can kind of control how gingery you want this. I'll just place this right into the Instant Pot. For the carrot, I just usually break it right in half and then throw it right in. The same goes for the celery. And for the bundle of dried thyme, I just throw it right in with the string attached. For the garlic, we can just throw this right in with the papers attached to it. That is the, what I mean by papers is the garlic skins. And we just throw that right in. Now for the onion, I will chop this. I will cut it into half. And I'll throw that right in with the papers attached as well. And what the papers do is give it a nice dark golden color. And this is a washed organic lemon. So I'm just gonna just put half. Now for the peppercorns, I'm just gonna take a small handful, maybe about a tablespoon size, and then just dump that right in. And for our turmeric, I'm just going to give it a generous sprinkle. And last but not least is our sea salt. And I'm going to take a nice good spoonful. I would say that is about a teaspoon and a half maybe. Um, if you like things to be really salty, you can add a little bit more to it. Now you can just remove the inner pot from the Instant Pot and take it over to your sink and fill it with water. I just fill mine up until the max line, which inside your Instant Pot, there should be a max line. Next, I'm going to set it on manual for 90 minutes. And I know that I've done another bone broth video in the Instant Pot. This was about a year and a half ago. And I had said that we liked it at 120. Well, I discovered that if you cook your whole chicken or your bones, for 90 minutes, it will be a little more gelatinous and the bone broth is just as good in shorter amount of time and we like to have the shorter amount of time because sometimes I don't always have 120 minutes and 90 minutes is a whole lot faster. So 90 minutes, it cooks a whole chicken plus bone broth in the Instant Pot and I'll show you what it looks like when it's finished. I'll meet you back here and we can strain it and put it into jars. And we're back. It has been almost like three hours. You can see when the Instant Pot turns off and it's finished its cycle, it will go to warm. And so it's been left on warm for over an hour. So how I've got my table set up is I've got a bowl for the chicken and some tongs, 
some mason jars, a funnel, and a, um, a sieve, and a ladle. What I like to do first is to take everything out and put it in a large bowl. I like using these tongs because it's much easier to grab the whole bird rather than using two forks. You can just slip the tong right into the cavity of the bird. Of course the bird is gonna fall apart at the bones because the meat is really tender. So I just try to do this without splashing because the broth is really hot. Now our goal is to pull out this chicken and put it aside. That way it can cool down enough so that way I can pick apart the meat and the bones and separate it later when it has cooled down enough. Now after all of the larger pieces have been removed with the tongs, uh, we can now start putting the bone broth away into the mason jars. There are two different methods you can use. One, you can can the bone broth if you have a pressure canner, you can do that. Today, what I'm gonna go over with you is how I freeze the bone broth. You can certainly put it in a, a regular mouth mason jar and wait until it cools down and then put it in your refrigerator and then have it immediately to make soups or anything right away. You'll wanna use it within two weeks. What, what I like to do is I like to freeze it because this is quite a bit for us. We're a small family of three. I like these wide mouth mason jars with the straight neck. For me, these freeze really well. I've never had an issue with cracking and I'll show you my secret tip for that. But I, I have had um, friends and family members who use this, the regular mouth uh, mason jars and they put broth in here and it does crack in the freezer. And so I don't want you to, that to happen to you because this is liquid gold and this is all, this has been quite a bit of work here. I'll just grab my ladle and start to ladle it into the mason jars. The smell is absolutely amazing. It smells like very warm, comforting chicken noodle soup, like maybe the best you've ever had. We still got just a little bit more to go. Sometimes I might just stop there, but this neckline is the farthest I'll go. You want to leave plenty of space for when it expands, when it freezes. You are left with these beautiful bone broth that you can freeze or you can use immediately. Now here's my secret tip on how to keep your jars from bursting in the freezer. This works for me every time. I've never had a jar cracked or burst in the freezer. So what we do is I'll put a lid on all of these and then I will leave them out on the counter until they get room temperature. Once they get room temperature, I put them in the refrigerator. And then I allow them to cool overnight in the refrigerator. After that, I then transfer them to our freezers. I label the lids, bone broth, and the date, and then they'll sit in our freezer, and then whenever I need them, I'll just pull them out as needed. So that has been my tip to keep your jars from from cracking or bursting in the freezer. I know a lot, I get a lot of questions about that. Um, I don't recommend to use the regular mouth jars for freezing. If you have any questions about bone broth or about the Instant Pot or cooking a whole chicken, put it in the comments below. I'd be happy to answer them for you. My name is Lorraine and I'm from Sew the Land and I wanna thank you guys for watching. This has been another quick and easy video of healthy and nutritious cooking here in the kitchen with us. I hope you have a great day.